Well, joining us now uh, from London is Diego Costa. He's a Brazilian political analyst at King's College in London. Uh, Diego, thank you very much uh, for joining us. We heard um, defiance there thank from you. Rousseff's team. But realistically, what options uh, does she have? Is this the end of her political career? This might as well be. Uh, the impeachment process is accusing her of using public banks as credit cards and then hiding the debt from the public in order to secure the re-election of 2014. Um, this might not be the end of her uh, uh, career as a civil person. She still uh, is not being indicted by the Petrolão, the big corrupt corruption scandal involving Petrobras, but uh, she might lose her political rights. She still has to, a chance to defend herself, and as, as you hear, she's going to try to convince international and domestic supporters that this is a soft coup against her by the legislative and by the judiciary. But at this point, it's very unlikely that she's be able, she'll be able to win this. So it looks as if the momentum is, is full steam ahead now for, for the impeachment process. What is likely to happen in Brazilian politics? Because Rousseff isn't the only high-profile politician facing corruption allegations, is she? You touched on it there. That's very true. Uh, members of multiple parties are being targeted by the Lava Jato, the car wash, the corruption probe around Petrobras. Uh, the, head, the, the House Speaker, who is uh, leading this, this accusation against her, uh, is accused of receiving $5 million in bribes. Uh, Dilma's uh, uh, supporters are also being accused of corruption uh, uh, schemes. So it's, it's very true that the parliament is fragmented and everyone has a stake in, uh, in this corruption probe. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the, the fact is that the corruption scandal is running parallel with the impeachment charges against Dilma because she's being accused of manipulating the budget and that's why she might lose her term. How is all of this playing out among the electorate right now, the, the, the people of Brazil? Dilma is very unpopular right now. Her uh, support is now at 11%. So, uh, a majority of the population is uh, in favor of her being impeached. Two thirds of the population are actually in favor of impeachment. However, there is a very uh, uh, vocal minority of supporters for Dilma who say that you know she's a democratically elected president and uh, this is a persecution by the legislative and the judiciary. So it's uh, we're probably going to see some some big struggles. The Workers Party has a lot of support among social movements in Brazil and they're probably not going to take this easy. So is there a feeling that rather than bringing stability to Brazilian politics, this impeachment process could open up a whole new can of worms? But on the congressional level, it should bring some stability. Uh, two thirds of parliament voted against her. That means that she had no support uh, within uh, her coalition. The coalition actually broke uh, with her and decided to turn against her. So maybe we're going to see uh, more cohesion when it comes to legislative body. But it's true that w if you look at the streets, probably we're going to see more struggle. We're going to see uh, uh, a more chaos maybe happening in Brasilia and other Brazilian cities. Okay, Diogo, thank you very much for your time.